morning guys. So for the past about two years, my bench has always been just a platform sitting on top of two sawhorses. And now that I've had the new shop set up, I've decided to make the bench a little more permanent by adding some legs to it. And so I'm gonna use that bed frame or the headboard that I had made a while back. I'm gonna recycle it and turn them into legs. And I got some other scrap pieces that I have laying around that I'm gonna use to finish off the entire bench. Right about here is when I remember that these pieces weren't actually glued in. Part of the challenge, besides incomplete saw cuts, is working and working against the sun. The sun's very hot and it's moving quickly in the morning. So I had to adjust position into a shadier area. Good news is I'm almost done with all the cutting. I'm turning these headboard pieces into skirting for the bench. So some part of this bench is already constructed of recycled material. These pieces were from an old uh, indoor greenhouse that we had built. So I've cut out three of the legs. This was an old piece that was left over from a different project. And these two are from the bedpost. I gotta figure out how to get a fourth leg going there. So when we moved into the house, there was a bench in the garage that I had taken apart, or mostly taken apart. And Whenever we use something that we didn't build ourselves, it's always tricky to find all the screws and even nails that are left in there. But it's a perfectly good piece of 2x4. So whenever I get a piece of lumber that I don't know where it came from, I'm very careful about cutting it with my saws because and you never know when it hits a nail, it makes it all not worth it. So, so the good news is most of the cutting is done. The bad news is it's getting really hot out here, uncomfortably hot. So I'm going to take inside, everything inside, and then we'll take stock of what we've cut so far. Alright, so we got a couple of pieces of legs cut out here. And, and the extra piece of the leg I cut into another, I guess call it a brace or a bearing piece. And uh, the headboard now can use this piece as the skirt. And this was the old piece of pine that I had. These two pieces of 2 by 4 turn out to, uh, to smell and not in a good way so I'm just gonna screw it together and then as a temporary solution for a fourth leg but I'm gonna have to replace that thing. This room is smaller than the other room I was in uh, earlier but it is much quieter and it has a fan so it's a little bit more comfortable. The lighting is different so right now I'm testing out the lighting and see how it is. Part of the arrangement of this space though is to make sure that I'm able to film all sorts of angles. And the bench though is a little bit too big. This bench is over six feet long. I actually almost never use the last you know, portion of the bench. So what I'm gonna do is while I'm making legs for the bench and making it stronger, I'm gonna go ahead and make this bench smaller. So I'm gonna try to make it to about 60 inches. So I think that is still plenty of space for what I need to do. So when I first built this bench, portability was very important but also the ability to take it apart and remake it into the way I like it. So this entire bench is screwed together and it will unscrew very easily. So this is the portion I'm going to remove. Originally there was a dovetail at the end of the piece. Since I cut it off, I thought about remaking the dovetail, but so eventually I like to make a nicer bench. Well, I already have plans for it. So this one's going to move outside when that one gets built. So there's no point in making a nice dovetail at the end there because it's just going to get painted and be left outside. What I did do was leave this edge slightly raised so I can just plane this flat later.
So as you can tell by the background color, it is fall. It's my favorite time of the year, and I've been using that bench for a couple of months now, and it's worked out pretty well for me. I've even installed uh, a bench stop for it. And the noise you hear is the corn being harvested across the road. So I hope you had fun watching me rebuild that bench and reuse some old material. And uh, I'll see you next time. I don't know if I'm going to miss mowing the lawn though.